The science behind food and mood. Before we jump into specific foods, let's first understand the science behind how food affects our mood. Our brain, which controls our mood, needs a constant supply of energy. This energy comes from the foods we eat, and more specifically, from the sugars these foods contain. But not all sugars are created equal and not all foods are processed at the same speed by our bodies, leading to different mood effects. Now, let's start exploring the foods. Foods that boost mood and mental well-being. Firstly, we have what I like to call, the mood superheroes, fruits, vegetables, fatty fish, nuts, and seeds. These foods are like a Michelin star banquet for your brain. Spinach, bananas, oranges and many other fruits and veggies are rich in folate and vitamin B6. These play a vital role in the creation of neurotransmitters, like serotonin, often referred to as the happy chemical. It's a hormone that stabilizes our mood, feelings of well-being, and happiness. Imagine these foods as positive motivational speakers for your brain cells. Here's a quick and easy recipe. I often make this delicious mackerel and spinach salad. Mackerel is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, vital for brain health and spinach, as we just learned, is full beneficial vitamins. Top it with some crushed almonds or sunflower seeds, and you've got a mood-boosting meal right there. Probiotic foods for gut brain health. Our gut health is crucial to our overall well-being, and that's where probiotics come into play. Foods like yogurt, kimchi, and other fermented foods are packed with beneficial bacteria that contribute to a healthy gut. Increasingly, research suggests that gut health is strongly linked to our mental health. So, think of these foods as your friendly allies in the fight for better mental health. Now, let's move on to the fun stuff. Dark chocolate and green tea. Not only do they taste great, but they're also fantastic for your mood. Dark chocolate stimulates the production of endorphins, the chemicals in our brains that create feelings of happiness. Meanwhile, green tea contains an amino acid called theanine, which has been linked to reducing stress and anxiety. Now that we've talked about foods that can boost your mood, let's switch gears to foods that may negatively affect your mood. Fast food, sugar-rich foods, and excessive alcohol consumption may seem like a good idea at the time, but they can contribute to mood swings, anxiety, and depression. These foods cause your blood sugar to spike and crash, which can lead to feelings of fatigue and irritability. Plus, they're lacking in the nutrients your brain needs to regulate mood effectively. Balance is the key here. It's not about completely eliminating these foods from your diet but about moderation and maintaining a diet that's rich in nutrients. Here's a simple example of a balanced meal. Half the plate is filled with colorful veggies, a quarter with lean proteins like chicken or tofu, and a quarter with whole grains like quinoa or brown rice. Accompanied with a side of fermented food, and there you have it. A meal that feeds both your body and mind. Hydration and its impact on mood. Another aspect not to overlook is hydration. Water is essential for our brain and body to function correctly. Dehydration can lead to feelings of anxiety, fatigue, and a generally low mood. So remember to keep that water bottle handy. The importance of regular exercise and good sleep. Regular exercise and a good night's sleep work in harmony with a balanced diet to improve your mental well-being. Physical activity releases chemicals like endorphins and serotonin that improve your mood. While sleep helps rejuvenate your mind and body. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide on how food impacts our mood and mental well-being. From the health-boosting effects of fruits, veggies, and fermented foods, to the mood-dampening impact of fast food and sugary treats. It's clear that what we eat plays a significant role in how we feel. Remember, while food is a powerful tool in maintaining mental health, it doesn't replace professional help if you're struggling with a mental health condition. If you're feeling consistently ill or anxious, reach out to a healthcare provider. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more insightful content. Your comments fuel our creativity. So let us know your thoughts, experiences, or any future topics you'd like us to cover. As always, thank you for joining us today.
Stay healthy, eat wisely, and remember, your health is your wealth. See you in the next video.